Welcome back friends. Welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. We've been talking about the immune system and we saw the process of overview of the cell mediated immunity and the role of T helper cell in mediating the cell mediated immunity. Now I also told you that this is the heart of this whole process because once the T helper cell gets activated that cell can signal more naive T cell to get activated. That cell can signal macrophage or any other dendritic cells or any other antigen presenting cells to get activated. They can signal B cells to mature into plasma cell. They can signal natural killer cell to get activated and kill the diseased cells. So once you see once this T helper cell gets activated so many responses start to happen inside our body and all these responses are required from the cell mediated perspective as well as the humoral perspective because they will also enable the B cell to produce antibody which will also help in complement fixation. So all the side of cell mediated and humoral mediated immunity is balanced due to this activation of T cell. So now in this video we want to talk about how exactly a T cell gets activated. We are not going to talk about complications just in general overview of T cell activation. So stay tuned and watch the video. In this video we will be talking about the T cell activation. There are two types of T cells in T helper zone there are you know CD8 T cells and CD4 T cells. CD4 T cells are the T helper cells while CD8 cells are known as the cytotoxic cells which will kill the diseased cells or infected cells. Now in this video mostly we will be talking about the process of CD4 T cell activation. Although the process of CD8 T cell activation is very very similar uh, with that of the activation of CD4 T cells. So let us look at here. The activation process of CD4 T cells is most important thing for the response and beginning of cell mediated immunity and in that case they need antigen presenting cells for the activation process and there are three types of antigen presenting cells that we find in our immunology immune system one is the dendritic cell second one is the macrophage and third is the B cell here we are looking at one of such antigen presenting cell in this case it is macrophage for example. So let me write it here this is an antigen presenting cell and the most important characteristic of antigen presenting cell lies in between the production of a receptor that is known as major histocompatibility complex 2 or MHC class 2 receptor. This MHC class 2 receptor can only be expressed by this antigen presenting cells. And actually the function of this MHC class 2 receptor is to showcase the antigen or foreign particle that enters into our body to the rest of the immune system cells. So this macrophage earlier engulfed a bacteria or the fragment of bacterial content and then they will degrade that content of bacteria there and after degrading they load this content and fragment onto MHC class 2 and showcase that to T cell. Now T cell have a unique receptor on its surface actually as I told you this is a T helper cell and we talk about CD4 T cell. So they have this one of this receptor called CD4. They also have another very unique receptor by all the T cells that are known as T cell receptor or TCR and these are the two most important receptors that engage in the process of activation of T cell. One is this MHC class 2 and another one is T cell receptor. So MHC class 2 involved with interaction with T cell receptor. So this is in the middle this is the most important thing for the process of this T cell activation. Actually T cell activation carried out in three different stages in consecutive stage. The first stage is the major T cell receptor MHC class 2 complex interaction that is the major interaction that is the first important phenomena. Now in this process MHC2 is attached to the fragment of pathogen 
TCR recognize that pathogen. How? Actually, TCR cannot recognize the pathogen itself directly. It can recognize the self material. That's how they are designed. That's how these T cells are trained in thymus. We'll be talking about how T cells are uh, T cells are designed and they are educated in thymus in the next video. But that's how they design that they can figure out which is self, which is non-self. Now, in this case, this T cell recognizes this pathogen material as foreign. So they will engage in the activation process. If they recognize them as a self material, they will never interact and activate the immune system. That will be bad. That will be autoimmunity. In this case, this is the first interaction between MHC class 2 and TCR where there is an antigen present in the middle. And this inter after this interaction, there are some co-stimulatory reactions or co-stimulatory interactions required to confirm this engagement. And one such interaction is between the B7 coming from macrophage and CD28 receptor coming from T cell. This is the co-stimulatory interaction. Another interaction of co-stimulatory is between the CD40 coming from macrophage and CD40 ligand coming from the T cell. So these are the co-stimulatory interactions. Okay that will confirm the binding and attachment of MHC class 2 with TCR. And the final confirmation of this attachment will be brought by the CD4. Remember the CD4 that will that is already attached and coming from T cell, it will properly place them in the perfect engagement interaction. So these are the two things that we have. the first interaction I talked about between TCR and MHC2 which is further confirmed by the co-stimulatory reactions. So I let, let me mark them as two. These are the co-stimulatory interactions, all these other interactions. And then CD4 properly place them in the engagement. So at the end of this interaction, this binding is positively selected. That yes, this is a foreign particle and T cell is properly engaged to this macrophage. Once this engagement is complete, then comes the third part of this activation process. This is the final part of activation process and that is the chemical signaling part. The chemical signaling part means after this engagement is done, macrophages start release some chemical component that is known as interleukin 12 or IL 12. So let me draw that, start secreting. IL12. There are IL12 receptor, there are different interleukin receptor on surface of T cell which recognizes IL12 and it gets some activation signal inside that will allow the T cells to produce some more interleukins and that is interleukin 2. They start producing two things inside this once this IL12 gets the signal into the T cell there are some uh, genes transcribed, there are some RNAs translated and then they will produce something, some receptor on the surface of the T cell called interleukin 2 receptor. They start building the receptor on the surface. It was not present from the beginning. After the interleukin 12 signaling, this thing comes in. So, you can put it like number 3, this is the number 4 event. And then the number 5th event is start releasing interleukin 2. This is the number fifth event. Uh, yes. So interleukin 12 gets the signal. There are translation process. They start developing interleukin 2 receptor on the surface. Then start secreting interleukin 2. And that interleukin 2 secreted by this T cell is acting on itself. So I am the cell. I am producing interleukin 2, I am also producing interleukin 2 receptor and now that interleukin 2 is interacting with the interleukin receptor in my body and I am getting activated. So this is a self and auto activation process, we call it autocrine, autocrine signaling that is mediated by these T cells during the self activation. And they not only produces interleukin 2, but they also produce interleukin 1 
that helps in converting naive T cells into helper T cells. And they will also start secreting another important molecule that is interferon gamma which will act on macrophage in turn because you know in immunological signaling everywhere if you look you will see there is a there is a receive and you know give and receive policy like you are doing a phone call you are telling someone like please be here that person should reply otherwise how would you know that this message is conveyed so always if there is interaction receiving from some end they will also provide an interaction back to tell them yes I received the interaction that is why I am releasing these chemicals. So once the T cell receives the signaling in form of interleukin 12 it starts releasing the interferon gamma which will tell this macrophage that yes I receive it now it is time to bring this even more. So bring more macrophages and some more T cells will be activated due to this interferon gamma signaling. Now this interleukin 2 interferon gamma they will not only activate macrophage they will also activate natural killer cells. They will also activate B cells and convert the B cell into plasma cells so that they can start producing antibody. And they do not use this interleukin 1 and 2 in that case of, uh, of activating B cells they use other type of interleukins interleukin 4s interleukin 5. But ultimately they will signal those B cells to be converted into plasma cells and they start producing antibody and stuff. So that in a sense is how this T cell gets activated. Once the T cell is active now it is time for some more processing because now we can say this T cell is active now it can actively function but it is not enough. This T cell now require to involve a training process because it is not enough for understanding uh, this specific the in this by this fashion they active they are getting activated they are activating the cell mediated response but this T cells must be trained and how the T cells are actually trained after the development because you know the lymphocytes are developed from lymphoid progenitor cells but now they should be properly trained in thymus and then they will come and engage in this whole process and activation and this immune response start to happen. So that is very important to understand how these T cells are trained in the first place, how they are differentiated in the first because once it is activated some more T cells will be produced from this cell multiple cells will be produced. Now from this cell when multiple cells are produced or, or actually uh, all the other cells that will be produced from the lymphoid progenitor and finally they, they uh, come an interaction in the immune system how they actually involve and how they actually differentiate and not the whole process we need to understand. So in the next video we will talk about the T cell maturation and the T cell training in the thymus in the process called thymic selection. So that is for this video and the activation of T cell. So I hope you understand this video. If you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that and definitely share this video with your friends. Thank you.